Hi everybody, Andrew Ainsworth back again. Um, I was doing a trade-in this week. I was selling somebody a new set of clubs fitting for a new set of pings. Um, he said, I've got quite a lot of old equipment which I don't need. Would you like to try and sell it for me and you know, get me some money back? I said, sure, so bring it in. Uh, we'll, we'll stick it on eBay maybe and see if we can get you a few pounds back for it. So, um, one of the clubs which he bought in, I've got in my hand here, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But the club I've got here was, is a bit of a relic, really. It's a bit of a blast from the past. Um, it was used very much by golfers back in the 70s, very much the 80s, uh, more 80s, really. This was very much out of the 80s and maybe into the early 90s. So this was pre-hybrid rescue, before we had the rescue clubs which arrived on the scene whenever they did now, uh, a long time ago, we were using one and two irons. That's what we had. And, you know, all the major brands made a one and a two iron. And one of the biggest selling one irons and two irons were made by Ping. And what I've got here is a, a Ping Zing one iron. Um, I haven't seen one of these in many years. And when I first started in, in golf, we used to sell loads of these, Ping I2, one irons and two irons, but we had a bag full of them, you know, golfers would come in, I want a one iron. And um, looking back, <laughs> they were pretty difficult clubs to hit, but they're not impossible. I might prove that theory wrong in a minute. So the spec on this club, I had a little look back on the internet, 15 and a half degrees of loft on this one iron, and it's just shy of 40 inches long, it's 39 and three quarter inches long to be precise. Um, it's got a pink KTM shaft, which is a fairly lightweight steel shaft in it. It carries quite a lot of offset. And what we mean by offset, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, is, is this sort of angle. If you go sort of from the front edge of the hosel and then look to the leading edge of the club, you can see that the club's set back of that point. That, that's quite a lot of offset. You might see it even better from that angle. If you had a one iron with no offset on it, it would be very, very difficult to hit. So offsetting just makes it a little bit more friendly so um, i thought it would be fun to have a little it's in great nick this the thing with the ping zings and the i2s is they never really aged you know they don't get damaged they're so tough but i thought i'd scare myself and try and hit one of these now i used to have a two iron i think ping i2 iron and i used to hit it about yay high uh, i'm not expecting this thing to to really take off into the into the stratosphere so I'm going to set it up fairly well forward in my stance. I'm going to kind of get the ball position sort of almost where I hit the driver from. So I'm going to get it sort of up towards the left heel. I'm going to try and stay behind it to launch it because if I get a little bit ahead of this and de-loft it, this thing isn't taking off. So slightly apprehensive <laughs> about what's going to happen here. So let's give it a go. It's a ball forward. Shoulders on a little bit of a tilt. Let's just swing an easy one to start with. Blind. Not much loft here. Oh, left. Blind. Didn't expect that to go as far left as, as that. Okay. Big. <laughs> Give me a hybrid. Big turnover. Pulley. Draw. Horrible. I'm going to start this one a little bit more up the right. Okay, I'm on. That's gone. That felt really good, actually. Goodness, that's gone a bit, hasn't it? That's rolled out to 242. It's pitched at 216. Hit that pretty well, actually. Let's have a look at the numbers on that one, shall we? Um, got at it quite a long way from in to out. I was trying to hit a bit of a draw, actually. Went pretty straight. Got 98 miles an hour club speed, 216 carry. So. 10 degree launch, low, but ran right out to 242. 27 total backspin. You imagine this club on a, a Lynx course in, in the UK or some of the Lynx style courses in America, or just in a windy day. Fairways hard, wind blowing, you want to keep the ball down, tight fairways. You know, one iron could still work. <laughs> Will one irons ever come back? I very much doubt it. I know that tour players sometimes put in a maybe a two iron into their bags when they're playing British Open and, and other windy courses, but I, I think you know this club is resigned to the museum. I think hybrids, 16 degree hybrids, rescue clubs with a graphite shaft in there, 
certainly much easier to hit. But it's been fun hitting it. It's been fun seeing the old fella come back uh, to hit another shot. Um, I don't know if anyone will buy this, but we'll, we'll try. You never know. You can sell anything on eBay, can't you? Uh, within reason. So there it is, the Ping Zing One Iron. Um, enjoyed hitting it. Would I put one in the boat? I don't, don't think so. But um, with a decent swing on it, it's, it works, you know, as the numbers there prove. So, bit of fun, bit of a blast from the past. Thanks for watching. Any of you out there have used a Ping Zing or a Ping I2 1 or 2 iron, be good to hear if you've still got it in the bag or if you've still got one in the garage, garage, depending on which side of the ocean you're on. Um, maybe get it on the range, give it a hit. Thanks for watching. All the best.